Hi there. So Bob over at Zealousy.com released Visible 2 yesterday, which is a video manipulation suite for Ableton. It's very powerful, very fully featured. I highly recommend that you go over to his site and watch his video and download it to get set up. But I wanted to show you what I've been doing with it so far. So I have four audio tracks here for de uh, virtual decks to play tracks out of. And then I have the visible instruments in this MIDI rack, or MIDI track. So I have the in-dot grabber to get the webcam, a mixer to mix the video streams together, and an out viewer, so we can see the screen. So what I did first is I went in and added in-dot scope devices to these three decks, so that the first, anything played through the first deck will have a red spectrum, anything played through the second deck will have a blue spectrum, or it should, there we go. Yeah, blue spectrum and a green spectrum. And if, if you cut, you know, stuff out of them, they react accordingly. So that's all well and good. But now I wanted to go and map effects parameters to the tracks. Have the tracks manipulate video. Now, in Bob's video, he was doing it where he had like a kick drum and then another instrument playing where he could put envelope followers on those individual tracks and just and get only the kick drum and not like the whole mix together through the envelope follower. But uh, considering I'm going to be playing full tracks, we need a slightly different approach. So my goal here is to split up the tracks into three spectrums, the low, the mid, and the high, just like when you're DJing, and have the low end of the music effect one parameter, one and the mid effect another, and, and the high effect another. So the way that I've accomplished this is with racks. So I have the VJ triple rack here, and this is duplicated on all the decks. And it's very simple. It's just two chains. One of the chains is just blank, just to pass your clean audio through it. And the other one, it has more racks in it with the low, for the low, the mid, and the high. So it's just an AQA with like the low, mid, and the high, and each one of these has envelope followers after them. So if we go and add an instrument or an effects module, invisible, for instance, the dirty feeder is rather nice. It's kind of a ghostly effect. So let's go and map the lows of this track to this parameter. And I'll play the track. So we see it's spectrum and then the lows effect here. And so if I cut out the low, you'll see that effect kind of stops, which is very nice. So let's go further and add the mid. And the high. And so if I cut out those things, and it will respond accordingly, which is very nice. So that's good. That's one. Let's set up another one. Let's do the kaleidoscope for deck two. The kaleidoscope is a lot of fun. I like it a lot. Let's play this track. And take its low. Make it affect that mid there and then have its high end do the kaleidoscope effect and go back and tweak you know the envelope followers so that they get the range that you want and again if I cut out things it has a large effect and then slowly start moving stuff back in there. Lots of fun with the kaleidoscope module. So stop that one and let's add a third effect. Let me turn this off. Let's add the pincher. It's another kind of fractally kaleidoscope sort of deal. This one can get pretty crazy. Right, so let's play the third track. Make it slow. Affect that. 
mid. And high. That's obviously a little crazy. So you can set it up in a bunch of different ways to get more crazy or less crazy. That's it's on the crazy end, so if I drop stuff out, again, no movement until I start putting stuff back in. And again, this is all modulated by the webcam, so if I get up and I put my hand in front of the webcam, you'll see it changes, all that good stuff. So, so we have three going there. What happens if you like play them together, right? three tracks playing on top of each other and if I drop the lows out or if I drop you know other things out it'll eventually stop or at least not be quite so crazy now put a bass from one of them back in all sorts of variation so I'll just add stuff back in cut stuff you know, it can do all sorts of crazy nonsense. So yeah, it's a, a ton of fun. And there are some, there's some more things that you can do. Oh, there's obviously like, you know, endless things that you can do with this, endless ways that you can set it up. But some other things to think of is you could have it set up so that you have an external instrument going into your sound card and that can have an envelope follower on it. So what I was doing earlier was I had another laptop with Ableton uh, and I was triggering effects patches and stuff and having the envelope follower there also affect another module. So you could have it be that like, you know, when you add like an effects noise and it completely changes the visuals only for the duration of that effects noise. You could also set um, envelope followers up on your sends so that if you um, send stuff out, then only then it'll, it'll activate a particular visual effect. So that could be that could be kind of interesting, um, but there are you know tons and tons of things to try. I only showed you three modules, and there's a bunch more. So dig in, have fun, um, and send Bob a couple bucks for all his hard work, right? Okay, thanks.